I was not sufficiently um, resilient. <laughs> so that after first year, my nickname was Seaman. <laughs> because it seemed I was not able to transcend to become a demon <laughs> or a demon. I was just a straight seaman. <laughs> but at least I didn't fail. <laughs> but I was a seaman. But in the second year, I began to understand the law and to appreciate what the teachers were trying to teach me. And suddenly, these A's and B's in the textbooks, A line of QR to B, B line of QR to C, C T to QR, and then A had to suit B, had me real confused. <laughs> But in second year, these, these A's and B's started to come off the page. And I started to realize that there were people like me and you. And I, I, I started really with, but that is just a great thing. They do that to, to off the son, and his brother, and his sister, daughter, or men, they realize. And it started to make sense. It started to come to life for me. Now, I was riding a bicycle from town to here. I was going home eating my mother food at lunch. And I'm riding back. Mainly to play football when I eat. But sometimes they will have late classes. I paid a caution fee of sixty dollars. Sixty Barbados dollars. Which I had returned to me at the end of the three year period because I didn't destroy any books. That was the cost to me to come to Kiev. I fully acknowledge and recognize that it is a different challenge. So the importance of the awards is crucial to me. So one more round of applause. So by the end of that three year period, I, I think I've started to appreciate I had a, a responsibility. That I didn't appreciate the first year. I said the first, first year was like I was in the matrix. <laughs> I started to realize I had a responsibility. This continued with two years in Jamaica. And I started to think that I had the capacity to do more than just be some student at Red Cape Hill. And that I was an empowered person. And I mean, that hit me late. I got it, it hit me late. All along, it was just a guy doing my thing. You understand? I realized that some of the Jamaicans and Chinese didn't understand it, so perhaps I have to translate. When I came to campus, you understand me. Certain things just used to go over my head. I never really realized, you understand? But I won. All around me. All around me. All right? I started to have this appreciation of responsibility. And I started to realize that when I began to work, now another transition, which is coming soon, that I was prepared. Yes, there's obviously things that you can put with A and B and C in the book, but I was prepared. I could go into a courtroom and get to my feet once the nerves pass a little bit and stand up and talk. I feel that people got to listen to me because I'm a graduate of Cuba. And there's nothing like it. There's nothing like it. When you can feel that you have the vacative for those of you from Jamaica. <laughs> behind you to feel that confidence to speak because you know where in the book you done read it and you know people who write it you talk with them personally so that confidence has led me to where I am wherever that is I ain't sure where it is yet how much more 
different mountains I gotta climb. But I feel confident on my journey. So that these mornings that I will wake up and I will say to myself, what I read about in the newspaper yesterday, it didn't please me. I didn't like it. So I make a choice that I can do something with that. I see that I live it. And I don't have to say, well, let me think about this now for a couple of hours. Let me debate what people are going to say. Let me think about what people are going to do if I take up this challenge or if I go, if I appear to take a feminist stance. If I appear to be fighting against police brutality. What people are going to say if my police friends ain't going to like me no more. I had a confidence that I could do these things and not look back and not wonder, not second guess myself. That is not an excuse for a lack of preparation. I'm just saying I had a foundation that when I strike to the wicked and I take my God. Girls confused, girls are kind of try to strike to the wicked. I felt that confidence to play my shots. We're every ball going, I feel like it going somewhere good. And this, for me, in a very large part of that is what happens in here. And I don't want you to underrate it in any way, in any sense. It has led me to a point now where I even feel that I could give people advice. <laughs> Who knew? That Pilly will be telling people, I advise you to do the following. <laughs> and I'm not talking about law, no, I mean, I can advise one upon all kinds of things. 